What's up guys, Jacob here from the Frenzy Brothers, and if you guys are anything like me, your computer is probably not the best thing in the world for Minecraft, so you might have a few frame rate issues like me. So today I want to share with you guys a few tips and tricks that will help you guys get a few better frame rates in Minecraft. So first thing you guys want to do is go download Optifine. There's tons of tutorials out there on how to do that, so go ahead go search one of those tutorials up and then you will discover how to download Optifine. Once you do that, then go ahead, come back to my video and then you should be able to do everything else that I show you in this video. So the first thing that I want to do is go ahead, go into the settings here um, and go into video settings, then I'm going to go into other and I'm going to show you the FPS in the top left, okay, right? So that you guys can see that. Now, right now, it's and it's pretty much in the low 30s, okay? Remember that. So at the start of the video, this is with Optifine right now. So with Optifine, at the start, I'm at in the low 30s, okay? And now what we're going to do is we're going to start to change some of the settings in here. All of these settings are going to be in the video settings thing right here. So to do that, if you're in the game, just press Escape on your keyboard, then press Options, Video Settings, and then you'll be here where we'll be spending most of the video in here, okay? So go ahead, turn Graphics onto fast okay then look at that FPS is already going up up there smooth lighting we are gonna turn off now guys all of this is a sacrifice if you guys want to have higher FPS you're gonna have to sacrifice how the game looks um, not really how it works but just how it looks in game quality so that you could have better FPS and be able to play the game smoothly okay so this is gonna be the absolute best settings so you'd have to sacrifice a lot to get the most FPS this way, okay? So, smooth lighting level, we have to turn down to zero. Um, GUI, we're gonna turn on to normal. That probably just got really small for you guys. So, normal right there. Brightness, um, I think this doesn't really matter, but I'm just gonna turn this up all the way. Um, dynamic lights off. I have a little note sheet next to me so that you guys can or so that I remember all these settings okay shaders um, just keep that don't put any shaders in so we're gonna go into details here so clouds we're gonna go off trees fast sky off sun and moon off fog off um, fast Dropped items fast. What's uh? This is gonna be fast as well. Cloud height. We're just gonna keep that right there. Rain and snow. We're gonna turn that off for the best quality. Stars. Unfortunately, we have to turn off. Um, I don't. I don't really know about show caves. I don't. I guess just turn that off. Um, your fog start. Put that low as you can. Let's see here, we're going to turn this off, Entity Shadows off, oops, is already off, and then Alternate Blocks off, right there. So, once that loads, which I don't know why it's taken forever, you should see, hello, I don't know what it's doing, probably like, reloading the game or whatever, um, Come on now. Come on, computer. You're alright. This is better for you. Um. There we go. Okay, so that's going to kick back up. And there we go there. So, animations. Go ahead and just turn all of this off right there. That's going to be the best for the com your computer. Render distance, you're going to have to sacrifice. This is a big one that you have to sacrifice. You're not going to be able to see very far, but 2 is definitely the best. Max frame, frame rate, probably leave that unlimited. Um, view bobbing, doesn't really matter. Use VBOS, you're going to keep that on. Um, or turn that on. Crosshair, um, we're going to keep this off. And quality, we're just going to leave alone everything in there. 
performance. We're going to go into here. The smooth FPS off. Fast render on. Chunk updates one. Lazy chunk loading off. Smooth world off. Fast math on. And dynamic updates off. Okay? So, guys, that is pretty much all of the tips I got for you guys. So, we started at 30 FPS, low 30s, and now we are up to pretty much the 120s, okay? When we're not in the um, GUI, or the little help menu or whatever. And I can look around here and stay above 100, which is definitely fine. The most you could actually do it on my screen um, is 60, so 120 is fine. That leaves for a lot of room for, you know, anything to happen, any lag or whatever, before it actually affects you. So that is how you guys can improve your FPS for Minecraft. Um, I hope that helps. I know it really sucks when, you know, you, you have low FPS in Minecraft. It's really hard to play and it's annoying. So I hope that, guys, f that fixed your guys's. It should have helped a lot. Usually adding Optifine doubles your frame rate so I would have been at like 15 without it then it goes into 30 and now it quadrupled from there so it went all the way up to 120 um, and I could probably get it up to if I do look straight up look at that I can get up to almost 200 frames so I definitely can get some pretty good frames if I'm in a non laggy area so that is how you guys can improve your FPS in Minecraft. And if you did enjoy today's video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It would be a great help to my channel. And I will see you guys later.